hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here thanks so much for coming back again so today i'm going to show you how to make an avatar cartoon profile for all your social medias using photoshop so without further ado let's get into the video i'll be using mkhp hd because if you quite remember in my q a video i told you it was one of the tech guys that inspires me a lot so i'll be using his picture all right reserved to him so without further ado let's head into photoshop okay like most of you know already if you've watched any of my cartoon tutorials before you know that i don't i don't like to keep the background so i've already taken the background over here so i've set a new background just like that so we are going to start over right away and we are going to make use of the pen too and at a point in time i'm going to speed up a little bit so that we can get this done real quick right so first of all you create a new layer on top of the whole or your picture you create a new layer on top of your picture and then you come to pick your pen tool over here now if you come over here we have two things we have the shape and the path we're going to make use of them simultaneously so you pick the path for the first time and then you can zoom in to start drawing around the edges now this is important to do because we want to maintain a good shape over or around the edges of the picture so we start to draw around the picture you just draw according to how the edges my mouse might be worrying me so just so it goes like this where the edges passes you just draw around there like that Clear jungle. Clear jungle. Clear jungle. So after going around the edges like this what we're going to do is we're going to select a brush tool over here and then we're going to make sure that we have the size to about five probably it might depend on the resolution of the picture that you're using and then you set the foreground color to black because you want the edges to be black so like this you can just test it out and probably you decrease the size if you want and then after I was go back and select your pen to right click and go to stroke path and then click OK. Make sure that you have here to be brush and then you click OK. So you should have the edges around it like that. As very simple as that, right? Okay, so you right click again and go to delete path. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the tab because I want to do it from beneath I'll, I'll be doing it step by step so i'll go first with the black color over here now we're going to select the pen tool again and this time around we're going to use the shape tool mind you you can use the path tool but the shape tool is very simple for me the the shape tool is very simple for me so you select it again and go to shape over here and immediately you click at a point it will create a new shape over here for you and then you can manipulate the color over here so i'm going to draw around the edges like this i'll just take it at the edges just like that so where it goes where it ends i'll just put it there and i'm going to turn off the opacity so that i can see everything very clearly So when you have it like this you can turn on the opacity again 
200% and then you see that we, we're building something up over here. So the reason why I said I'll be doing it step by step is because I would want, uh, let's say, this particular color beneath the black shape. So I'll just select the first layer again and then I'll pick my pen tool again and start to go over. So I'm going to start from here. I'll start from this side and then I'll draw that one too also. So you go around the edges. Very simple like that. So once I get here, I'll select the shape tool and then pick a color from, I'm just picking the colors from the original source and then I'll click OK and turn the opacity on so you can see it very clearly that we are building something. So if I turn this one on right now, you can see that we have the first black layer and this one over here and then I'll, I can turn this back on and then we do the same thing with it third layer that is the black one so i'll put it beneath so that all this it will come beneath the first and the second layer or the shape right so we we'll zoom in again pick our paint tool and then we start from here so we just go around the edges like that that is the very reason why you should have your outline ready right so you decrease the opacity so that you can see things very clearly and then you go around like that so i'll go over here over there and now you can change the color to i used the red color over here because i want it to be big uh, to be very deep uh, very deep red and then you can turn the opacity on to see what you're doing so far so i'll bring this one beneath this layer and then that's it so we have the colors ready we are done with these colors and then what we're going to do next is that we're going to do the black covers over here I think the red is too deep so let me try and bring it down yeah I think this one will do okay so I'm going to zoom in again and below this layer also I'm going to draw my black um, I don't know how to call it but I'll start from here and just draw it around over there like that so that one is also beneath the red color so that it can be it can fit very well all right so this is how i do it and when i get to this point so the outline is very important most people do ask me whether it is very necessary to draw the outline in my opinion it is very necessary because it helps you it doesn't make you stress yourself more So when I turn the opacity of this one on, you can see where we are going right now. And then I'll zoom in like this. So what is left right now is the, the main body and that of the hair, right? So let's draw the main body and that one too, it will be beneath all the other layers. So we're going to select the pen tool again that is the shape too and then we're going to start from here draw from this side let me zoom in so when i get to this side i'll just follow the outlines and that is the reason why it makes the outline very important you can just start off and do it but Trust me, if you put the outline, it's going to help you a whole lot.
most of the times what I do is I pick the skin tones from the original image that I'm using so I go around searching for skin tones over here but in this case I got my skin tone so I'm going to paste it just like that and I'll click OK and turn on the opacity so that you can see what we're doing right away so we have this and then the last thing or the last two things that we need to do is that of the hair and let's say the lines around over here so we're going to turn off this shape and the hair has to be on top like that so i'll select the first shape zoom in and then we're going to follow the same procedure basically to draw the hair also so let me get let me get it straight over here i'm going to start from here that is where the hair ends and then i'll go over like that so i'll just follow wherever the hair is following let's go like this the color is already in black so i'm going to turn on the opacity like this and i don't know if i got this right but probably i got it right because yeah so i'll turn the body on like this and then we are almost done with this whole thing now if you zoom in here very carefully you can see that we have some part of this shape that we need to fix it right so i'll just bring it down like this so that it fix it gets fixed right and then i'm going to zoom in to fix the whole thing but we have one more thing to do and that is i'm going to bring this on top and i'm going to draw these particular lines right because uh it makes it look more appealing to me rather than leaving it just like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my eclipse and draw an eclipse over here mm, you can try to make it fix or yeah so you just transform it to fit the whole thing and then we're going to change that color to white and duplicate it to the side so I'll bring it over here like that so you can see if I turn this off right now you can see that I have the holes done already and so we're going to do the other one that is the black one so you're going to select the pen tool and start to draw from let's say here and then I'm going to change the color to black since it is black so we have the black over here so probably you, you can see that it links to um, the other one like that if you look at it critically you're going to see that like it is linking to this particular shape over here so we're going to do the same thing for the next one so I'll zoom in pick my pen to and start to draw And then we get this one also done so let's see how far we've come right now so i i zoom in to fit the screen and i try to make some fixes over here i don't want this side so i'll select that shape that particular shape and then try to reposition it yeah so this is good and then your avatar should be ready so when you are done with all these things then the next thing that you can do is you can just turn on the outlines that you made and you see everything is very intact like that all right except with the hair that you can also fix that one if you select it 
you select that particular shape you can right click and go to warp and then you warp it more like that right so you bring in it like that and then everything is fixed so that is how you can create an avatar cartoon for your you can just save this for all your social media instagram facebook twitter any other and youtube profile also so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful if you want to see a full tutorial on this particular video that i'm going that i'll be adding let's say the eyes i'll be drawing the mouth and all those things around i can continue on that but let me know in the comment section if you would be interested and let me know um if this video was helpful to you thank you so much for watching innocent here and i'll catch you in the next tutorial bye